Knight's design has two cast iron sleeves per cylinder, bronze in some models, sliding inside the other, with the piston inside the inner sleeve. The sleeves are operated by small connecting rods actuated by an eccentric shaft and has ports cut out at their upper ends. The cylinder head, known as the junk head, is like a fixed, inverted piston with its own set of rings projecting down inside the inner sleeve. The design is remarkably quiet and the sleeve valves need little attention. It was, however, more expensive to manufacture due to the precision grinding required on the sleeve surfaces. Also it uses more oil at high speeds and is harder to start in cold weather. Knight and Kilbourne had hoped to interest US automobile manufacturers in the engine so that they could grant licenses for its manufacture, but initially there were no takers. Pierce Arrow of Buffalo tested the engine against one of their own and found that it was more powerful at speeds above 30 miles per hour and would also go faster. However, they dismissed it as unsuitable for their range of cars because they believed that anything over 55 miles per hour was unsafe. They also considered the oil consumption, about 2 quarts per 70 miles. That is the ignition key. Okay. This is the key that locks the door. Okay. So you turn it on. Okay. You hear the fuel pump running. Yes. Okay. You pull out the spark. Okay. And I, I guess I'll need some choke because they hadn't run for a while. Here's the starter. Here you pull. Okay. Let, let me make. Okay. So pull this one. Uh huh. The I'm choke. Give it some choke. Okay, so when you pull the, the horn, this is the starter. That's right. Okay. So where is the and horn now? Once the engine started, then you can push the spark back in. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. hear a change in the engine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what was that? This is throttle. Throttle, okay. And this is the one that sends the heat to the, to the carburetor. carburetor. Right. Okay. Okay, and so the horn, now the horn is you there. push. Push the horn, okay. Cool. And you turn it, one click with the parking lights on the fenders. Mm -hmm. The next click is the low beams. Okay. The next click is the high beams. Okay, so most of the things are controlled from here. Right, uh-huh. Okay. This is really important uh, so he can know. Sure, yeah, he needs to know that. So when you start, you pull the you pull the spark, spark and, choke, and choke and pull this. If one. you need it now, if, after if, when the engine is hot, you don't yeah, need the choke. You don't need choke. You just take yeah. off. This control is the uh, freewheeling. It's called. Hmm. What is that? Well, they thought it would be great if uh, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Uh, what it does if it's in freewheeling. When you slow down, say for a stop sign, mm -hmm. you don't have any engine braking. It's just it's just rolling okay. along like it was in neutral. A neutral. Okay. Now, Do you control this one? And I I never use it because uh, mm -hmm. I don't. So this is like a fry life for uh, for the yeah. some of the it, it, Tusico cars. They yeah, have something it, similar it, to they, this. They one. they thought it was a great thing back in the 30s. But okay. With mechanical brakes, you need all the help you can get to stop oh, the yeah. thing. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Cool. <laughs> so the the emergency brake work? Yes, it does. Okay. And and that locks all four wheels. Four wheels? Uh huh. Wow. And you see when the emergency brake is on, mm -hmm. see the brake pedal is down. And okay. Right on. Oh. Okay. I see. It's okay. Three speeds? Three. Three. No synchromation, so you, yeah, double you have clutch. to double clutch, yeah. Still mechanical brakes? 
mechanical. Yeah. They uh, they work pretty good. Yeah, yeah. It stops well. You have to push on them hard. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, we can go here. That's fine. Yeah, dead ends down there. There's almost no play in the steering. Yep. For an old car, it's very tight. The short gears. Yeah. Really short. Pick and right this in third, 15 miles an hour. third gear. Yeah. 